Hey guys. All right, guys, we're here on Throwback Thursday to do a Patrono request from this Patrono right here. I said, check out Hardcore Superstar with Above the Law. No, I'm not going to make any porn jokes on this video. Now, Hardcore Superstar, isn't that a song from Cypress Hill? I'm a hardcore superstar living life. No, that's a rock star. Fuck. Well, they could be a hardcore superstar, but it was it was a rock superstar. Cool. Close enough. Yeah. Close enough. Now, I wonder if uh, Jamie Just is going to do a cameo on this video. I think he considers himself a hardcore superstar. I don't know what I think. I think hardcore superstar is more of like a, a difficulty on like Garage Band or... Uh... Or Guitar Hero. That's next level shit. It's like after Expert, you become you go into hardcore. Yeah, when you, and when you're playing, it's not that the song is coming fast at you, it's that they're throwing like bags of piss and all sorts of shit. There's people around you, so you cannot really play properly. Well, you gotta play while crowd surfing. Yeah. Because if you're going hardcore, you gotta go like all the fucking all the way. way. Yeah, boogie boards and shit. All of that kind of crazy stuff. All right, are you ready for this? Yeah. All right, let's fucking go. Okay, now what I was thinking. Just saying. Don't judge. You know what? But no one never told him you can't break the law. Got a thing with bomb. The only thing I need right now, the warmth of the gun. Only wanted to be me and my mom. I guess he did not mean to hurt no one. And it goes out. Not feeling it? It's gonna make his mom cry now. This is fun! Come on. 
Fuck. Oh, fuck. I fucking enjoyed that shit. Dude, you didn't like it? I'm gonna let you go for... Should I go first then? Because... I'll go first. Okay. Um... So I thought I didn't like it. It was what I wasn't expecting, so it caught me off guard. So it, the whole I, song... I, I was expecting some hardcore shit, like... I wasn't expecting hardcore... Sh- I was expecting something that was not this. I was expecting anything that was not this. I was expecting some, like... Some hardcore, like... Oh, you fucking killed me, and now you stepped on my fucking toes! Because <laughs> hardcore guys always seem like... Life is, has abandoned them. Exactly. I don't know. I don't know. That's what I was kind of expecting. The dog took a shit on my favorite pair of shoes. I'm a, nobody's fucking above the law. I'm the fucking law. Something along those lines. And then yeah. maybe you can wear a bandana and be 5'5 five five and act all pissed off. Like, I'm not saying names. You guys fill in the blanks. Yeah, we kind of all know <laughs> who exactly we're talking about. <clears throat> yeah. Um, uh, and I wish it was that. <laughs> but, I wish it was that. Dude, but, this was fucking some good ass it wasn't, hard rock, it rock wasn't, and roll here. It wasn't bad. It just it caught me so off guard. I didn't know how to enjoy it. Like I totally forgot how to enjoy it. I don't know why. It, it, it was it, uh, it, it the way it started off. It sounded like like uh, like a Disney Channel um, like opening for a, a show or like they go to. The big, uh, it's like a Disney Channel movie, and they go to the big, you know, uh, no, 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 Battle no. of the Bands, see, see, see. and this is the Battle of the Bands song that wins. Like, yeah, yeah, this could totally be in the movie that I that I watched a couple of weeks ago. That uh, that heavy metal movie where the guys have a band. That, you didn't yeah, watch it with me, well, but they're in high school. About, yeah. now, but when I was listening to this song, see, for me, it was different. For me, it took me back. Like, if, if you grew up in the '80s, like I did, and you watch movies like Porky's, th- this is totally like up that alley of like Porky's. The Last American Virgin, which, by the way, that movie proves that la- uh, good guys never get the chick in the end. The chick would rather lose her virginity to a complete jackass. Just saying. So, being a nice guy or a good guy it doesn't really get you the chick. Uh, American Virgin is one movie that comes to mind. Um, Porky's. Uh, you know, all, all of those, like, raunchy teenage sex movies that were really predominant in the 80s. At, at least, they were predominant in my house because that's kind of... You know, like that was like as as close to porn as you could get without actual porn. So, so it kind of reminded me of that soundtrack when I listen to a song like this. It has a little bit of of that '80s vibe. You know, like you know, I wish I uh, I wish I had Jesse's girl. Like yeah. Rick Springfield, kind of like heavier than Rick Springfield, obviously, but like Bon Jovi, like that kind of shit. Yeah, that's what you know? it is. Yeah, it is fucking good. But that's why it also. Rem- but for you, that's good stuff. That's for my me, youth. But for me, when it reminds me of fucking Disney Channel movies, that's not a good thing. I I hated most of those Disney Channel movies. They were awful. The the acting was was subpar. The, all still of, is. Still is. It's those Hallmark movies. And, and I swear to God, you could copy and paste the movies, just take out the actors and put more diversity in them, and that's a new movie. I don't know, man. You you acted about the the face that you had throughout the whole song. It's like when you're at a show. And you see somebody from behind, and they have a great ass, and then they turn around, it's and it's a dude, and you're like, ooh, ooh, ooh. and you're contemplating. Your yeah, sexuality. you're like you're contemplating your life at that point. It's like, I don't, you know, it is what it is. I'll tell it's you know, it's though, in here. I'll tell you no. The face I had just now that was like kind of like the confused face, but I was I was that, bopping. That's exactly, that's exactly what I was I'm bopping, about, yeah. but like slowly. Um, Still, I had a better time listening. Oh, the song was good, man. The chorus listen, was I, good. Listen, I had the a better song time. was fun. I had a better time listening to this than... Uh, an important thing you didn't notice. Oh, what? The drummer had an Napalm Death t-shirt. I did notice that. And I was about to reference the fact that I, I probably had a better face during this video than I did during the whole Napalm Death set when when we went. Wow, that's that's not even apples and oranges. That's like bananas and, and pecans. I mean, one, one has nothing to do with... like They're like worlds apart. I know. They're worlds apart. But I just thought it was kind of funny that he was wearing an Napalm Death t-shirt. There's nothing wrong with that. I just thought it was kind of no, funny. No, I thought the whole thing was funny. I think for you, for you, obviously, ah, this song it was brings so you f- back. But the, the problem, the thing with me is like, whenever I think of like early 2000s, because this has got to like be... White Snake. No, but know? this has got to be early 2000s. Like, oh, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. The fashion is... The no, but that's is. their look. They have this. They have the. They that's have, their look. They have it's the like emo look. It's yeah. It's like Blackville Brides. They all look. Dude, yeah, like, it's know. like Blackville Brides. So, but it's the look. That's the, the look. That's the look of then. But I, whenever I looked at them, I was cringy. Some bands are still rocking that look. I know, and it's cringy as fuck. Like if you like Skid Row, if you go watch some Skid Row videos from like back in the day, yeah, 
they're not that far but off. I don't watch the Skid Row videos. I listen to the music, which is less cringy because I don't have to actually see them. I know, but the, but the youth was going wild on this fucking shit. The youth shit. was not wild. The youth. I, I would rather listen to Youth Gone Wild, and that song is fucking amazing, than... Oh, it's a completely different track. But I, listen... Listen, this one overall, had like romantic overall, comedy written all over it. Exactly, but, uh, it was like a Disney, it was like a Hallmark movie, fucking romantic uh, comedy, the battle of the bands, and then, and then he's playing, and then they win the battle of the bands, and he sees the girl he likes from high school, and she's watching him. It's all that bullshit. <laughs> exactly that. And, or, he, or the movie, and, and they all make fun of him at school because he has the fucking uh, uh, hobo fingerless gloves. Was it High the, School Rock? The one, the one, the one, the one with the. The one with the Lucha Libre, where then he takes the kids. School of Rock, but that's of different. Rock. That, was that, that one was okay. That one wasn't... Because that was a different movie. Okay, okay, okay. But I know, totally I, I know what you're getting. I know what you're getting at. You know what I'm getting? You're fucking fingerless gloves with the, the skull fingerless gloves. I, I told you, there's a new movie on Netflix <laughs> about, about these kids in high school that are trying to put a metal band together so they, they can go to the Battle of the Bands. And, and this is totally like... Down is this what the song... Their songs are? No, no, no. The song was heavier. Their song okay. was heavier. But the other band that they lost to kind of sounded like these guys. The, they didn't win. Obviously. They finished in second place because that made them cooler. Uh, the, the actual band that won, it, it was, they didn't look like them, but they kind of sounded like them. Because that band was also doing like weddings, playing at weddings yeah. and shit like that. And, and yeah. I fucking, I love it's it. It's good. It's, it's not like. Dude, it's, it's, it's like Steel Panther. Minus all the fucking dick jokes. Well, that's the reason why you would <laughs> listen to Steel Panthers. You don't listen to them for the music. I, I, I'm, I'm telling you, so many bands that you actually like and you listen to. Yeah, but then I'm also, and, and telling, no, you, like, I'm also is... telling you the reason why I like those bands and why these guys don't have that. Also, I told you that like my mindset in the song was fucked because I didn't even expect this. So maybe if I listen, if I knew if if we were at like a show and this was playing on the PA system. Cool. You'd probably I'm, be vibing I'd to be it. I'd be vibing to it. But it's not something I go out of my way to go and listen to. I'll just vibe to it. The But you're you're saying Steel Panther. Who the fuck goes to Steel Panther for the music? You go for the chicks and the tits and the funny dick jokes. You don't go for the fucking the, the music's the secondhand smoke to, to to their to their to their lung cancer. I mean you're you, you're finding you're finding these analogies, but I'm also finding the reasons why those wow. bands are in my like uh, still, still Panther, dude. I don't even like. Uh, one thing I'll uh, one one thing I'll admit, right? Yeah. If you go watch any movie that has, uh, not any movie, but most movies that have a scene where they're at the prom, a song like this is exactly. Great. A song like this. exactly. So it's very but generic. Fuck, but for me, I fucking like it because like I, that's the generic. That I grew, it's that's so the generic that I, that I grew up with. That's the know? word I've been looking for this whole time. It's so generic. I swear to God, you could write one of these songs in your sleep and not know anything about music. Ah, the same could be said about every fucking metalcore song out there. Metalcore songs some, somewhat have a little bit more complex... Um, <laughs> um, integrity? Complex. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you're saying say that there's no integrity? I can say that, like, yeah, metalcore, some songs are copy-paste, but you still need somewhat talent to make a metalcore song compared to, like, a song like this. Some are not even copy and paste, some are just control P, which is even short than, than copy and paste. Some of them are control, control C, control V. Okay, whatever. I don't know. I know my lingo. It's 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 time to press escape. Dude. <laughs> it's time to press escape. I don't know, that man. Still Panther fucking... comment fucked me up here. <laughs> You're still. No, they sound just like like you go to Still Panther. You listen to a song just like this. Okay. But but well, not they're like not still this. Panther. But with a sound like this. But talking about like fucking some chicks. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> all right. So that's where things change for you. That's they're they're a com. Still Panther is all about the comedy. That's why I love them. Is because yes, the song itself, the the actual sound of the music is like generic. But the lyrics that they do, the the people, the characters that they are, you love them for that. You don't go, I don't go to, you don't see an Opeth fan listening to Steel Panther going, hmm, this is, this is so deep. No! I don't think you see any Opeth fan listening to Steel Panther exactly. to begin with. I think, I think in the Venn diagram of metal fans, <laughs> those two don't cross. <laughs> those two don't, cross. <laughs> those two don't, in, those two don't in, they, they don't intersect, they don't intersect at all. I, I get what you're saying. I don't know, man. I just fucking loved it. I, I honestly, I did. I'm, I'm not bullshitting. I, I had a fucking good time. <laughs> That's because, good. Because I'm listening to it and, and, and through my mind, I'm, I'm watching like these scenes from all of these 80s movies that I grew up watching, where, which this song could totally been the soundtrack. And that's why I feel like since you had those... Plus good, he had something with his mom. You which, ha, yeah, I know. Something with, with his that, mom that, is that. that. Yeah. But, but you have good memories of those, of those movies. That's why you liked it. You, I have bad memories with those movies. That's why I hate it. No, if you guys want a song about somebody's mom, go check out a band from Canada. I don't think they're around anymore, but the name of the band is called Chicks Dig It. And they had a song called Her Mom. Oh, I thought you were going to... That song was fucking amazing. It was all about how he was in love with 
with this girl's mom. I thought you were going to say... Chicks uh, digging. What was it? Da- da- They're dancing? from Calgary. They're from Calgary. No, Dancing is Mother. Dancing is Mother. Oh, but that song is fucking badass. Are you kidding me? Yeah, that's that song the, is good. That's the greatest mother-related song of all exactly. fucking time. Like, that song is... The Chicks Digged one is more for the shits and giggles. But the, that one is more for the... Yeah, yeah, that one, is, that one is different. That one is different. Now, I wish you could go back in time. One last thing before we call, the, call it a video. I wish you could go back in time and talk to the young you wearing a Blackville bright shirt to the mall thinking you're all badass. Did I? I don't think oh, I was yeah. badass. <laughs> Oh, but you didn't think you were a badass. But, no. but, but there's pictures. There's proof. I just like the shirt, probably. There's proof. There's proof. Now looking back at that shirt, that shirt was re- like really bad. The shirt was actually kind of cool. It was it was a nun. like a, a nun. Which, one, looked, which one was it? It was the it was... one with the nun that looked like the nun from the movies, uh, from the horror movie, from the movie Nun. Oh, I, She had like I, I her eyes all fucked then. up and whatever. I thought, it was, I thought of a different... Like, no, no, no. That's the, that's the one you had. And the only nun shirt I can think of that I own was the one where it was like, fuck's given. No, 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 no. no. This, this was Vegas. a different... It was like a nun with her eyes all fucked up, black veil brights, whatever. Uh, maybe the nun was emo too. I, I, don't know. I don't know. All of it was emo. Wow, I, I wish you could go back and see that Dude, kid. I You'd have... be like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> go back home and change. <laughs> Fuck. Pass on my Hina Hina shirt. Hey, hey. You know the funny thing about Blackville Brides is that we bought tickets because you wanted to go see them. By the time the concert came along, you didn't like them anymore. <laughs> no, it wasn't. I didn't the like them. The span of time between I like them and like, what the fuck am I listening it wasn't, to? It wasn't. It, I it was like them. three it was months. More, it was more of, uh, I was maturing more in my metal taste. You, you mature very I, quickly in the span of three months. It was not three months. It was more. Uh, maybe six I think months. the concert got set back. No, that was before, way before COVID. The Obviously concert, the concert COVID. was like in January. I bought but tickets I, I in August. I, I enjoyed asking Alexandria more than yeah, them. That's true. That's true. All right. Anyways, more people also did because that venue was ransacked. Uh, it wasn't ransacked. It, 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 everybody left. Exactly. Like they were, they were playing to like they were playing to the sound crew. It's like, it's like when you go on Black Friday shopping and you go like five o'clock in the, in the afternoon. afternoon. Yeah. yeah, and there's nothing. Nothing's left. there. Just the price tags. All right, guys, hit us up in the comment section. Hardcore Superstar, uh, let us know what you know about these guys. I fucking loved it. Apparently, so. they were big. I mean, you see that that big crowd? Or maybe that was fake. Fuck, that was, out, that was an outdoor, like a stadium concert. I know, but it was also tinted, so like it had me thinking, but then, you know, there's no way they could have faked that one. What, they were opening for Queen? <laughs> you know, is that what you're saying? Like, yeah, they were opening for somebody. And, bigger? And it's obviously not going to be, the, it's not Canada, because there's more people there for the opening band than here. No, for a fact, if this was I Canada, think, I think you're that place under, would be like I think people. you're underplaying the quality of hard rock, uh, hard rock, hardcore superstar. Uh, in the All early right. 2000s, All definitely. Right. Uh, we don't know. We got to go Google find out when this came out. It's got to be that. All right, guys. We'll see you at the next video. See ya.